Alrighty, so real briefly here, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, layer a map using the included image elements with the next gen map pack in PowerPoint. Uh, so first off, you just want to format your slide to make sure the slide itself is the same size as the map elements you're going to be using. So depending on your screen and whatnot, you want to convert these pixel dimensions to um, inches just because that's how PowerPoint works. And I think you can edit, um, you can edit your slide size by uh, going over here to design and clicking on form, or sorry, clicking on uh, slide size here. But I've already done that. So the first step to get things rolling is you're going to want to snag the shape tool and you can use the uh, rectangle shape here and then you can just draw uh, real quickly a, a rectangle that takes up the entire size of the uh, slide here and then right off the bat the format shape tools open up here which is exactly where you would want to navigate to if it didn't but if it does and it should you'll want to click on picture or texture fill and because i've already done this real quick just to <laughs> refresh myself it just pulled in a uh, an ocean background and how that worked was i clicked on insert picture from file and um usually uh if you're making a map in uh, powerpoint of a of a state or region that has some uh, or that uh, bumps up either to the Atlantic or the Pacific, you'll probably want to use the ocean first, even though technically it'll be the bottom layer. That'll make sense in a second. Once that's inserted, uh, you'll want to make sure the uh, selection pane uh, window over here is open. And to find that, I believe you just go to uh, C. Um, I think you can access it from home. Yeah, you go to home, arrange, hidden over here, and then selection pane, and then this will open. And you'll probably, as you go, want to uh, rename all of the, um, all the shapes that you convert over to map layers as you go. So this is the ocean background. So let's make that so. And then, um, oops, it gets pretty easy from here on out. What you want to do is just click on, after you rename it, you'll just click on the, uh, the slide or the image here and then uh, use the uh, keybind control D or command D if you're on a Mac, even though, honestly, I'm not even sure if PowerPoint is on Mac. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, we've duplicated the ocean. We're going to change the ocean now by going back over to the format picture panel here. Uh, insert picture source for the same thing and what I would personally do is now drop in the base map so we'll insert base map which is a PNG and you can now see or you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here um, because each map layer is a PNG um, not all your elements will be PNGs if you're working on the landlocked state or region uh, you, you'll probably have some JPEGs but either way if you follow the same um, the same uh, setup here, you know, start with the ocean, or if there's no ocean, start with the base map and then work your way up. So I'm going to rename this one here to base map and do the same thing. Control D, oops, uh, click on the base map, then hit the control D on your keyboard. That's going to duplicate this. So we'll have another layer to replace. We do the same thing and click on format picture, picture source, choose from file. Um, this is where things may or may not become subject, uh, subjective person to person, but I would personally right now drop in a terrain overlay um, here. And the, the terrain overlay is really only gonna do you justice if you're gonna be adding fills and whatnot to your map, which I imagine most people do, you know, fills as in precipitation. Um, anyway, go ahead and drop that in rename it here in the selection pane to um, terrain overlay and uh, you can kind of see how that works if you disable it and enable it disable it, enable it it's just really adding some extra 
uh, texture to the um, canyons and whatnot on a map if there are, uh, you know, rises and falls and elevation. So do the same thing, hit control, oops, click on the uh, layer here and then hit control D, it's gonna duplicate it, it kind of gets offset. So I'm gonna drag that back up to the top corner and make sure it is centered with the rest of them. Do the same thing and go over to the format picture panel, insert, file. Um, we'll go ahead and drop in, go ahead and drop in the rivers here, rename it to rivers, uh, duplicate, didn't get offset so I can quickly just go over here to format picture, insert, file, lakes, lakes are now in here. Uh, rename this one to uh, Lakes. Same thing, duplicate with Control D or Command D. Make sure it's centered. Go back at the format picture, insert source. Um, and go ahead and drop in the interstate. Rename it. Same thing, click and duplicate, control D, replace with, um, probably replace it with the um, interstate icons. We can always adjust this. You can shift them as needed. Interstate icons. Same thing, duplicate, click and duplicate. Oops, replace with a different image. Now we'll drop in the states. We rename it the states. We'll do the same thing. Click and duplicate. Change it over to uh, do the counties. So now that everyone uses counties, but uh, California's a pretty good sized state, so I figure it helps. And um, I imagine that kind of tells you the or shows you the gist of how to do that, how to insert you know each, each individual layer and how to layer them properly so that they don't look like a jumbled mess. And uh, you can disable certain layers as you want. Um, let me just rename this here counties. Just drop counties under the state, and you can adjust. You can adjust the transparency if you would like. Just like this, you know, counties will do that, you know, roughly 50% there. I'm actually gonna disable the lakes and the rivers. And I'm gonna drag the interstate icons to the top so they're on top of all of my uh, outlines. And um, here's another key, uh, a key thing to keep in mind for any map that uh, borders an ocean or a large body of water. Um, let's go ahead and add a quick, um, a quick fill and we'll just use the curve tool here. And I'm just going to draw I, an example fill suggesting some Sierra snow. All right. And let's change the fill color to something like that. Can we get rid of the outline? Uh, no outline. And I'll just change the transparency a little bit. And as you can see right now, the fill is on top of all of the layers which kind of makes having all of the layers pointless. But if you go back to the selection window and I can just rename this will make sense. Let's we'll put snow fill, oops, just so it's easier to follow here. So this is the fill we just made. If we drag this all the way down here above the base map, you can see how all of the layers we've added become, um, pulled up to the top and are now overlaid on top of the fill, which creates that more professional forecast map look. And that kind of defeats the purpose I had in mind here. So that, that shows you that. Um, I'm gonna disable this fill here. I'm gonna do one more fill example, and I'm gonna do a 
fill that overlaps the coastline here. And I'll just do, uh, I, I messed that one up. Let me delete this guy. Let me do that one more time. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. And I change the color to a green, mayhaps, for precipitation. Get rid of the outline. And I'm going to change the transparency and go back to the, the selection panel. I'm going to drop this all the way back down to the same spot. And you can see how the ocean is also covered. But you can fix this by duplicating... It doesn't matter, you can duplicate any of your base map layers, but I'll just duplicate the base map, uh, the base map for an example, control D, shift it back over so it's centered, and I'm gonna replace this layer with this ocean mask. I'll hit insert, and you can see, utilizing that ocean mask layer, this ocean mask layer, as long as it's on top of your fill or fills, will uh, remove anything from the uh, the ocean outward. And some maps do have um, overlays that you can use to cap or uh, control your fills to not uh, to not spill outside of these uh, state maps here. But for now, any um, any state or regional map should come with an ocean mask. So if you're forecasting a um, a coastal storm out on the east, you know, you're probably going to have precipitation overlapping the ocean. But this is a very quick and easy fix here just by dropping in this ocean mask layer. So hopefully that shows you how to go about adjusting all of your dropping in and properly layering all of the layers that come with each map with the next gen map pack from Met Graphics. Mm -hmm.